Today I had a mission to uh, do some more re research on uh, into Boone Trace using the uh, research from 1942 from Lee B. McHarg, L.B. McHarg. When McHarg walked the length of Boone Trace, the known points and the um, other points that were still visible, he wrote down extensive notes from the Knox County line to the Rock Castle River. In the far northern Laurel County, uh, he noted where on Winding Blade Road that Boone Trace crossed the Winding Blade Road. And from there, he said he went down the hollow to Denny's Branch. And from Denny's Branch to Parker Creek, and Parker Creek a short distance further to the Rock Castle River. So today's mission was to hike the Sheltowie Trace, which is a national trail, and find where Denny's Branch and crossed over the Sheltowie Trace and to look around that area to see if there were any remnants of uh, Boone Trace, 1775 Boone Trace, uh, still left in the woods. And we not only found success down um, off of Denny's Branch, but we also ended up finding another section of the trail on uh, another private property owner. Fascinating day. And this video documents that trip. Okay, Fox O, I'm out here in the Daniel Boone Forest off of Winding Blade Road on the Sheltowie Trace. And we're hiking it down into the Denny's Branch Hollow that McHarg talked about. And honestly, if we stop and look where we are, looks like this hollow is running right down through here. So this is Definitely going to be uh, in trace territory. The more I think about it, Fox, this is not it. This is not the hollow. This is not Denny's branch in the bottom here. It's a blue line creek. So we're going to walk on some more. Because I'm thinking that Denny's branch is on the other side of that hill. here holding this little tree on this ledge don't want to walk too much further you can see that's a cliff line on, the, on the edge of a cliff line and that's the little feeder creek down to Denny's branch down the bottom there beautiful quiet country this video won't do it justice, Fox O, but Mountain Laurel, our namesake, is growing all over down here next to this little tributary creek. This is a tributary creek coming from, we hike from that direction this way. This is a tributary to Denny Branch. The Mountain Laurel is everywhere. Still following this little tributary of, that will lead to Denny's Branch on down the way. I've got it calculated to be about another thousand feet from where we are. a reminder of what our purpose is here today is we're following the Sheltai Trace off of Winding Blade Road in northern Laurel County because the Sheltai Trace it intersects with Denny's Branch and Denny's Branch Hollow was the path of Boone Trace so we're going to find Denny's Branch. 
and we just keep continue to cross over these feeder creeks we've crossed over it six or eight times already zigzagging our way there okay this little feeder creek we're almost to where it meets Denny's branch so we are believing that ahead of us that holler from right to left is going to be the trace corridor in this neck of the woods this little branch has gotten considerably larger as we followed it wider and a little deeper because it's about to hit Denny, Denny's branch what do you think Mike? We're about, about there. The holler, Denny Branch holler, is coming from right to left. And as we reach this point right here on the Sheltai Trace, we now know we're crossing over onto private property here in the forest. And I do know the landowner, so we will proceed here. We're looking for any kind of remnants that exist in the woods on where the Boone Trace path could have gone. Because what we are seeing here right directly ahead of us is uh, where the Sheltai Trace is meeting Denny's Branch. So Boone's party would have come from that, that direction right up through there and proceeded that direction down Denny's branch where it meets Parker's, Parker's Creek right before crossing the Rock Castle River in extreme northern Laurel County. As Denny's branch continues in that direction, the Sheltai Trace turns and goes up that direction to the right of Mike. So Boone Trace had to, it came out of this area from up in the Winding Blade area and came toward us and they proceeded in that direction. Just the path they, they chose, we don't know. We're gonna look around here and see if we see any old trail remnants in the woods. But we know the Sheltai Trace is going that way. So we're gonna get up here and look this next ledge and then we're going to go down here and look to the left side of the creek see if we see anything that, but this is definitely the area the Denny Branch Hollow that Boone is known to have traveled on his way to the Rock Castle River okay I'm a I'm a little bit south of Denny's Branch down there but I'm still in the Denny's Branch Hollow and the Sheltite Trace comes up through here and then it starts to leave Denny's branch by making a left turn and going up through there, straight up through there. Sheltai Trace. Now Boone Trace, we've come straight down Denny's branch hollow in that direction. There's a possibility this could be a part of the trace What's it do down there, Mike? Right there, it goes across the creek, it starts up a little knoll, and then it just kind of disappears into the forest. Into the thicket of the mountain laurel. So, uh, you know, it's very likely, very possible, that in an area, this is Denny's branch coming right here. It's very possible that the trace could have stayed on the high ground over here, or could have stayed on the high ground there or literally followed along the edge of the creek where we are. This is not a bad uh, flat right here. One thing about it, Mike, we're all over it, bro. We're definitely in this neck of the woods. You know, 250 years worth of silt mm -hmm. and erosion. It's very likely that Trace crossed over Denny's branch right there, continued on down in the forest, like you said. Because yeah, it, from what I'm seeing, they'll cross here to right there on their side. 
Yep. Get the little piece and goes across the beam. Let's go look. Can we get across? It's not a bad place to cross. You know, an old bridle trail, 250 years old, with rocks and soil and yeah. What do you think here? Whoops. Yep. Yeah, I see what you mean. Like it crosses a little creek here again and goes right around through there. Who knows, man? Who knows? And then you start looking over here on the left side where the trace is, sail tight trace is. Could have uh, veered along the edge of the creek bank down Denny's branch on further that way. There's one thing about it. 1775 through 1795. There's a lot of people come down this hollow, bro. You see one? 200, 300, yeah, I'd say 250, 300,000 people headed to the west. Headed to Boonesboro and points beyond, I guess. And again, <clears throat> now this is right here. Yep. Now this could have just all, the creek could have been right here. And... Oh, sure. Oh, well, you know this creek bank's changed over time. You can see it, signs of erosion in the last two or three years right there. Now he's standing here really literally in the middle of Denny's branch. Topo maps are helpful too because there's not too many ways you're going to travel this country and I know the video is not going to do it justice. But that's 200 feet straight up right there. And over here on this side every bit as high i'm gonna stick a topo picture in here for you to look the blue dot shows our location and the arrow was pointing to the north toward the rock castle river you can see how close the topo lines are and in between each line is 20 feet when you study that topo denny's branch hollow coming right through here how are you going to travel I mean, you're not, Boone's not going up on the high, high ridges. I mean, we are, we are, we're way down in this valley here on the creek bank, Denny's Branch. The creek runs back up that way, back up that way toward that hollow. And if you follow that back up, you will eventually cross Winding Blade Road there around the, Parker's Creek Road and you'd be heading south on Boone Trace. Well, you know, you just get a feeling, Mike, you just get a feeling, I broke my neck there, down in this country that this was the land that was traveled by pioneers, man. Yeah. That little section of the South Tide Trace I'm, I'm betting it's built on the trace, Boone Trace. What do you think? I don't believe so. Like you said, you get off this creek, you're going straight up in the mountains. And you wasn't going to do that. No. Straight up the creek and straight up. So there's another section we've been trying to piece together. If we had plenty of time... And we had somebody waiting on us down at the river. We'd walk Denny's Branch all the way to the river. But when we got down there, we'd be stuck without a ride. That's definitely something I'd like to do sometime, Mike. Yeah. Let's just take off down Denny's Branch and see what the what lies down below. I know what lies down below Parker's Branch and the Rock Castle River. So, Daniel Boone Forest, folks. Stomping grounds of the first pioneers and travelers to the west. I don't know if I'm believing. 
if somebody tells me any different. I heard it from somehow that creek. Right yeah, I do too. I make the trace come straight out of that creek, like you, and straight down that way. There's almost a shelf down there, Mike. There's a shelf that runs right there. Yeah, the mountain walls are just choking things out. Don't get me wrong, they're a beautiful plant, but they're sort of like spider webs in the forest. But yeah, it's very likely that the trace followed a shelf right down through there. Yeah. Or they stayed on the low side. We don't really know what, what's down on this side. We may go down there a little bit. Okay, from where we are on Denny's Branch, we came a little bit further north. And from where we are, it's probably 2,500 feet, maybe 3,000 feet downstream to where this creek meets Parker's Branch and then crosses the Rock Castle River just a few feet beyond that. When you get down in here a little more, the possibilities increase there's a big wide area on the right side of the creek bank here but there's also a big wide area here so it's you know flip a coin if i was a betting man they traveled down the right side of the creek mike let's go over and look at it all right we came over here and jumped across the creek we're on the uh east side of the creek going north. What do you think, Mike? I think we're standing in the middle of it. Huh? I think we're standing in the middle of it. Mike thinks we're standing in the middle of it. I am not going to disagree with him. I think it's the Boone Trace, folks, because the as Mike was explaining there a minute ago, that shelf up there that runs across through here kind of comes to a dead end right out here. But this is such a wide area coming down Denny's Branch. It almost looks like there's a trail here right now, Mike. It's unbelievable. And I just get that feeling, like John Fox says, sometimes you just get that feeling, man. Huh? See trail? Don't do that. Yeah, it's a trail, dude. That's a trail. And it's six, eight feet wide. It's been beaten down, too, because it's sort of mm -hmm. U-shaped. Dad gum, man. Look at that. That's crazy. Let me get here in the middle of it. <laughs> this is it, man. This has been beaten down. It's six, eight feet wide, and it's going right on. Holy crap. That's trail, Mike. Good spot. He spotted this. Son of a gun. It goes right on. That's a damn trace, man. It's just been, it's beaten down the width of a bridle path. Walk across that and show, indicate how it's sort of U-shaped. From there to there. It, it literally is a, is a, is a beaten down U-shaped path down here following Denny's branch. Exactly what McHarg said he did when he walked it in 1942. But more importantly than that are the hundreds and thousands of people who trampled this from 1775 into the 17, mid-1790s and probably even beyond. I'd say even after they built the Wilderness Road, there was a lot of people who continued to use this money. Fascinating. Fascinating. I know I'm going to regret not making plans to walk the length of this this year. Every year I'm getting a little older, man. It's getting harder to do. 
Now he's Mike's walking the path right there. You can see the indentation. And it goes right on, man. I mean it goes right on. Over here on this side. It goes right under the deadfall and continues right on. Dad gum. That's it, man. That's it. Amazing. If you can, on the other side of that tree, that is going right on in the same pattern that we've seen. Six, eight foot wide, indented trail. Flowing right along Denny's branch. How you feeling about it, bro? Well, we found it. I think we found it. Feeling lucky today. <laughs> brought you some if we'd have brought us some biscuits from McDonald's, we could have told everybody was eating at Denny's. Right. Denny's Branch. Amazing. Let's look a little bit further. We keep it up, we'll walk to Parker's Branch. I mean, my God, man, the mountain wall starts choking you out, but it's still there. Let me get back down in here again. There she goes, bro. Oh, yeah. Yeah. On your knees looking. Oh, yeah. John Fox, you ought to be here, man. And all my Boone Trace buddies. You take 20 plus years and hundreds and thousands of people's tromping through here, all the way down through there. Folks, this is a metal detector's dream. No telling what you'd find down here. And just as plain as a nose on your face, folks. You can see this thing. Once you get back down in there and start looking, it jumps out at you. I'm standing right in the middle of it. Continues on right through there. Crazy, crazy, crazy. This is another little section we think is Boone Tracy running up above Denny's Branch back to the south. Denny's Branch is right over here to the left but where we were earlier straight ahead we're moving north but this location is south of where we were. This is very likely another section of Boone Trace on private property No doubt about it. This is dropping down the hill. Denny's Branch is right over here to the left. We're actually going in the same place we were from a different direction from the private property owner, Robert, who's up ahead of us. Kind enough to show us around here today. Oh, I think this is the Boone Trace south of the section we were on a while ago. Just too clear, too well marked, too trampled to not be, and it's heading in the exact direction of where we were. Denny's Branch. Earlier we came in from the other side but we, uh, we've always believed that the trail was on the right side of Denny's Branch going north. This is no exception.
That's a bridle path if I've ever seen one. Map of yours? Um, nope. Hmm. It's going to be. <laughs> you think this is it? I absolutely do. It's a six eight foot. It's a six it. eight foot bridle path. It's following Denny's branch. That's it down down there where he's at. Where it gets down where we were. He drops right down because right it gets steep. Right down here, it levels off. It, he starts following more closer to the creek because it gets steeper. Yeah. Amazing. And right here is a property corner and a federal government national forest boundary. This is Roberts Land back behind us where the trace comes down through. John Fox is going to freak out. <laughs> and right here on the trace is a bearing creek. Amazing. There you go, folks. This little creek here is the far north end of Denny's Branch making its way to Parker Creek. So I guess you'd call this the mouth of Denny's Branch. Parker Creek basically follows Highway 490 all the way down from uh, winding blade area and from this point you're a short distance to the rock castle river now where uh, boone would have come whether he would have stayed on the right side of the creek which would be the left here or up on the high side no one will ever know but this is definitely the place that McHarg, L.B. McHarg walked in 42 when he stated that he followed Denny's branch all the way to Parker Creek and then Parker Creek to the Rock Castle. The little bridge out here on Cuts across uh, Parker Creek, but uh, it's not too much further, maybe a hundred yards, probably not that far, to the Rock Castle. Standing here on the bridge, you can see the other side of the bank to the Rock Castle River, right that bank straight ahead in the middle of your screen is Rock Castle County. So the river's just right there. Well, that's the northern section of Boone Trace as we've explored today. What do you think about it, Michael? Yeah, hard day's work. We've had a hard day's work, bro. I wore out two pair of kneecaps. We needed that though. Yep. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Down below, and uh, we'll continue to dig out other areas of Boone Trace as we find them. Northern Laurel County. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it.